Hello mathematicians, welcome to Noatic Learning News. I'm your host, Jan Kelty, and today we will be discussing Venn diagrams. As seen in the last video, Venn diagrams can be very useful in representing the relationships among groups of objects, especially groups with shared members. Now, oh, what's that? We seem to be having some breaking news. Let's go to our on-site reporter. Thank you, Yong. Today we are walking into Summercrest neighborhood, which has a total of 233 houses. Among them, 158 houses have swimming pools, 64 houses have basketball hoops, and 18 houses have both. What the Homeowners Association wants to know is how many houses have neither a basketball hoop nor a swimming pool. Thanks, Tim. That's a tough problem, though. Let's go to our math expert in the studio to help us out. Bob? Thanks, Yong. By the looks of it, we've got two groups of houses. Houses with basketball hoops and houses with swimming pools. Also, there are houses with both basketball hoops and swimming pools. Since we're dealing with two groups of objects, and there are objects belonging to both groups, a Venn diagram is the perfect tool for us to solve this problem. So first, to represent the situation, we drew a rectangle. This rectangle rep will represent all 233 houses. Next, we drew a circle to represent houses with basketball hoops, and then we drew another circle to represent houses with swimming pools. Since there are shared members in between the groups of objects, the two circles intersect. The two circles break the, re the rectangle into many regions. We shade different regions into different colors like red, blue, purple, and finally green. The red region will represent houses with basketball hoops but no swimming pools. So this region will represent houses with basketball hoops but no swimming pools. The blue region will represent houses with swimming pools, but no basketball hoops. Swimming pools, but no basketball hoops. Next, the purple region will represent all houses with both basketball hoops and swimming pools. Both basketball hoops and swimming pools. Finally, the green region will represent houses with neither basketball hoops nor swimming pools. And this is the region we are solving for. This might take me a little while to fill in. I will try to go as quickly as possible. There we go. Now we can use the diagram and the given information to solve the problem. First, the question tells us that there are 233 houses. This will be the whole rectangle, or the green region, the red region, the purple region, and the blue region all combined. Next, the question tells us that 158 houses have basketball hoops. This is the red and purple, the red and purple circle. We don't know how many houses are represented by the red section, but the question does tell us that 18 houses have both basketball hoops and swimming pools. And that's the purple section. So we know that the purple section represents 18 houses. Since we know that the whole, the whole red and purple circle is 158 houses and the purple section is 18, we can simply do 158 minus 18 to find the red section. And 158 minus 18 is 140. 140. Now let's go to the swimming pool circle. So this is the blue and purple circle, and it represents 64 houses. We don't because we don't know how many are in the blue section, we can solve for it by taking the whole purple and blue circle 
and subtract it by the purple section, which is 18. So we simply do 64 minus 18, which is equal to 46. Now the question tells us that we have a total of 233 houses. That's the whole rectangle. We need to solve, the green, solve for the green section. So we simply take the whole rectangle and subtract by the intersections, the red section, the purple section, and the blue section. So we have a total of 233. 233. We need to subtract by the red section, or 140. Then subtract by the purple section, or 18. And finally, subtract by the blue section, or 46. And you will get 233 minus 140 minus 18 minus 46 is equal to 29. And that's your answer. Let's recap. When we run into a problem with groups of objects with shared members, a Venn diagram can be used to illustrate the relationship of these groups. Then we can use this diagram and the given information to solve the problem.